Hello, my friend, and welcome to your Reiki session. For today's session, we are going to be building confidence while you sleep. I know that many of you struggle with confidence. And I know that a lot of you also struggle with sleep. So I thought we could pair these two together and really help overlap and balance and work off of one another. So I have some tools, some crystals we'll be using to balance and align your solar plexus chakra, soothing what needs to be soothed and then activating what needs to be activated in order for you to heal and balance this space of confidence and self-worth. And also, with the soothing process, we're sort of releasing anything that's preventing you from letting the day go, you know, from turning the page of the previous day and allowing yourself to rest. Sometimes if we're overactive in our solar plexus, we can just go, 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 and it's hard for our minds to kind of cool down and take a breather, kind of give up the reins for the evening and allow rest to take over. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing working in the solar plexus to balance this really powerful sunny chakra. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anna. I'm a Reiki master teacher, and I am actually opening up um, my classes again. I'm going to be taking on a few students in June. So if you have ever wanted to learn more about Reiki or to become a Reiki practitioner yourself, I am taking on another select group of students in June. We had such an incredible time with our students earlier in the year. But after June, I will be closing it. So after we begin that that course, I will be closing the classes again. So if you have wanted to learn Reiki from me, then I'll leave that linked below. A lot of my students have taken level one just to kind of familiarize themselves with this sort of healing. And they've done a lot of incredible healing work on themselves. So it's been fantastic and I've just loved getting to know you and connect with you in a deeper way. So we do a whole course learning all kinds of different energetic healing modalities and techniques and we learn everything involving Reiki. So I teach level one, level two, and level three right now and right now I'm opening up level one so if you're a total beginner then that'll be available to you. So I'll leave that linked below and we do courses and then I do a couple of live streams throughout including a live stream attunement ceremony to attune you to Reiki healing energy. So it's been so much fun and I've really loved it. It's been just one of my goals to connect with you in a deeper way. So I'm so grateful that I've had an opportunity to do that. So welcome, 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 welcome. And if you've been here before, Welcome back. I love hanging out with you, getting to do this kind of energetic healing together. It's so fun. It feels very magical to be able to create these sessions for the collective. So this spray here that I have is an aura mist. It's been charged in the light of the full moon. It's really nice. It's got a lemony scent to it. And it has some sandalwood in there as well. It's really it's a very interesting combination. The combination is almost sort of smoky, I was gonna say. But I don't want that to sound too heavy or to put you off. It just smells very deep. Got a real depth of flavor. How are you feeling today? Okay. Well, I hope 
by the end of this session you feel at least 10% better. Take some deep breaths in here. And if you can, when you're breathing in, when your neck's comfortable in you, send your attention into your solar plexus. Maybe just a hand or a few fingers above your belly button. Just have that intention while you inhale, that you're sending the energy to the space. You're here on my Reiki table. You have nothing to think about. There's nothing in the outside world that you need to be doing right now. Right now, this is your time just to rest and rejuvenate and allow this healing, developing these building blocks that we can then stack one on top of the other and build this beautiful confidence and self-worth. This is very subtle work, subtle energetic healing work. So it's really happening on a cellular level while you sleep. So all you need to do is just lie back, relax, and just let this healing wash over you. Let it wash. On your next inhale, I want you to imagine light flowing in through your nose and your mouth, whatever's most comfortable, and then flowing down into your solar plexus, into your upper belly. I just want to invite some movement and heat and flow into the space. Big deep inhale, sending it down. And on the exhale, just release. We're just releasing any excess. Releasing any tension. Good. Okay, you can breathe normally now. Our solar plexus is deeply connected with our throat chakra. So Manipura, connected to the Vishuddha. And we can kind of borrow energy from one to help balance the other. Very often if your solar plexus is underactive, your throat chakra may I'm going to light our candle, we'll set our intention together, and I think we'll do a little bit of clearing. This is a frankincense candle.
combination of ASMR and Reiki is just so powerful. When we're doing a Reiki session, you know, a lot of the times it'll take some time for, for somebody to start to relax and give over to the session. So then you're having to kind of work on their initial levels of maybe stress or anxiety, anything that they're bringing into this space, even kind of clearing the day energetically. So if you can use ASMR as a way of just kind of jump-starting that relaxation and helping them get to a point where they can really, you know, ease into the session, feel calm and soothed and cared for. There's something about the kind of gentle, soft-spoken nature of of an ASMR session that I feel like can really allow you to trust your practitioner to help you really feel nurtured by them. I hope that's how you feel here with me. My intention for these sessions is always for them to feel nurturing. I just, I want to help you feel better. I want to help you feel uh, more like calmer, more relaxed. You know, maybe it's a situation where you've just had a horrible day or a horrible week or you're moving through something really challenging, which I know a lot of you are. And I just, I love that this is a space that we've kind of developed together to, to just be safe and relax and unwind. So, sconces don't look like it, but they're about a foot away from, from the wall. They're candle sconces. <laughs> and they have a metal backing. Okay. They look much closer than they are. But they're like, they're, you know, they're far from the wall. Okay, my dear. So our little frankincense natural coconut wax apothecary candle here is going to help us set our intention and rather than placing the hand outside of your heart space we're going to place our hand outside of your solar plexus maybe even rest it gently on your solar plexus here deep breath in and you can just let these words wash over you so on behalf of your highest wisest most empowered and aligned self 
in loving comfort and in perfect balance. I wish to conduct this Reiki session for building your confidence while you sleep, healing on a deep cellular level, any insecurities, any self-doubt, any limiting beliefs about your abilities, so that you can wake up feeling not only rejuvenated from a beautiful restful sleep, knowing that you were able to kind of hang up your coat, put your rucksack down and just rest because we've balanced in the solar plexus, but also to really help you feel deeply confident. Tomorrow as you move through your day, your actions will feel easy. The confidence will just sort of, you know, you'll just exude that confidence. It'll sort of drizzle out of your pores. And so now I gave you a moment to think about what you'd like to invite in to make this session more specific to you. So feel free to set that intention on this candle now, creating this beautiful bond here, binding your intention with our element of fire. And as long as it's in service of your own and everyone else's highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned selves, we will honor that intention and see it through time and space to where and when it is applicable. Beautiful. As always, feel free to take some time if you need it to set your intention if you didn't have a chance. And now we will light our incense off of this intention candle. Yeah, we'll do some clearing, maybe clear some the energy from the day, clear any of that self-doubt, insecurity that we were talking about. We're clearing any energetic blockages so that there's a freedom and an ease for this healing to take place. This is a really beautiful myrrh incense. It smells delicious. Your energy feels great today. I'm very honored to be able to share this session with you. Okay, clearing and cleansing, clearing and cleansing anything that's come up for you. Anything that you've noticed that's blocking you from really experiencing the kind of energetic freedom that you're entitled to. We don't have to believe everything we think and we can, we can start to release things that aren't serving us. That's an option. Clearing here at the feet, and then a little bit deeper at the legs.
going to draw the sacred Reiki symbols outside of your solar plexus here. I'm going to start with a few stones. This is a jade, and this is a yellow jasper. Yellow jasper is great for confidence and self-belief. Jade is great for luck and prosperity. It's also a great heart healing stone. So I wanted to call in some of that luck. Sometimes confidence and luck go hand in hand. So I really want you to feel supported and held by this jade, providing you with this deep sense of, you know, being cared for, being supported. Balancing in the heart space, yes, but also providing abundance and prosperity so that you release any of that lack mentality and you're embracing this mentality of abundance, seeing an abundance of opportunities around you, seeing an abundance of friendships around you, an abundance of support, an abundance of love, an abundance of confidence. And then we're going to call in our uh, yellow jasper. Did I say? Yeah. <laughs> our yellow jasper for that confidence and that self-belief. So abundance, self-belief.
I'm going to use a little bit of yellow calcite now. Sunny, joyful stone. Great for activating the solar plexus. beautiful stone from Etretat in Normandy. I went to France recently. I made a little vlog on my other channel about it. I can link that below. I didn't make it about France, but I mentioned it. I showed some clips of my trip. Um, but it was just so lovely. And so I got this stone. Beautiful chalk beaches, the pebble beaches, the chalk, the uh, yeah. cliffs in Notre Dame. So beautiful. But it's a geode, a really beautiful geode. It's got sparkly crystals inside there. It's so gorgeous. And geodes are great for safety, protection, helping you feel nice and cocooned in safety. We talk here a lot about being cocooned in comfort, cocooning you in comfort. And so now we're just cocooning you in safety. They might feel safe enough to trust yourself, safe enough to take action on things that you've been maybe avoiding, safe enough to take risks that you've wanted to take for a long time, but you've been afraid, helping you feel safe. safe and connected. away any of those blockages, like a deluge of rain coming through your energetic body and just flushing out any of the toxins, any of that negativity, any of that self-doubt, just washing it away.
spirit of the owl for our owl rattle here. This owl rattle can help you feel that energetic support as you move through your day. This owl can help lift the vibration and send your energy out before you, cast your positive energy out before you. So that not only are you being supported by these energies all around you, but you are supporting yourself. You are sending this energetic barrier to really support you and nurture you and hold you up if your energy starts to dip. You have this kind of safety net, positivity and love, care, self-belief, assurance, confidence, knowing your value, knowing your worth. this session. I hope that you're feeling at least 10% better when we started. I'm sending you so much love and support. Uh, if you did want to learn Reiki, I will leave links below. Again, opening up my, my classes and taking on a few select students in June. So if you would like to learn Reiki from me, then I'll leave the details for that down below and I'd love to have you as my student. Okay. Take really good care of yourself. Take good care of each other. And until we meet again, be so well. Namaste.
just like sending them into the hand. Our palms are just like energy nourishing palms for so many different energies to flow in to be able to hear these messages and affirm them that they're full. So soothing. So sending that love towards you and see if you can just maybe breathe it in, fill yourself up with that gorgeous loving energy, imagine the aroma just swirling in and flowing all through your body. can be directed and channeled with laser-like precision to help you accomplish tasks and achieve objectives. Cool. This is going to be a really powerful time for you. Two super empowering cards. You have this fiery energy and you have like the earth and the roots. The roots and the ancestors. It's like star and earth and fire. Find as comfortable a position as you can. Maybe close your eyes. You could lie down. Whatever feels right for you. And let's begin today with gratitude. Whatever position you find yourself in, bring to heart 